Alright Hacksters, today in the studio we have an exciting package from the extremely appropriately named Robert Jack, who has sent us a package of Trill Sensors. These are brought to you by the team that created the Bella, an extremely low latency platform designed for electronic audio. Here you can see the Bella Mini module stuck on top of a pocket beagle, pocket sized beagle bone board. So cool! Comes with a couple of audio jacks. And uh, previously on Hackster, we actually already covered Trill when they were coming out with their Kickstarter campaign. Now, they've apparently fulfilled all of their Kickstarter perks, and so they've sent us a package with some of the sensors to play with. Here's one of the ones that we covered before. As you can see, it has a grid crisscrossing rows, which allows the board to sense where your finger is by a capacitive touch sensing. So let's get this package open. Have my handy dandy. Little Intel Leatherman. Okay. Opens this way. <gasps> Create beautiful interaction with Bella.io. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Ooh, stickers as usual. I love the Bella style. It's so cool looking. This beautiful teal color, which may or may not actually come through in the video, but yeah. Trill, thank you for your support. So, we have five objects that are part of the kit. I'm gonna go, go through them one by one. This is the Trill Craft. It is a custom dedicated board which has 30 capacitive touch sensors, which is ridiculous. Uh, it has a little spot for right angle headers to connect it to your microcontroller of choice. Beautiful. Copyright 2020, Augmented Instruments Limited. Okay. Seed Grove Breakout. I have not seen this before. This must be one of the Kickstarter stretch perks, so we will take a look at that on the website in just a moment. You've got 10 of these, along with breakouts for more I squared C connections. Uh, all of the Trill boards connect via I squared C, so here are the jacks for that. It's exactly the same as the Seed Grove connectors, if you're familiar with that. Makes it really easy to connect stuff without having to solder or cut wires to length or crimp or anything. Just plug and play! Alright, here we go with the bar. This one has a row of zigzag lines. Each of these zigzags is its own little sensor, and as you're using your fingers to touch this, you're probably going to be contacting multiple of the sensors at once. It can sense up to five different touches at the same time. And uh, since, as you can see, they're all arranged in a line, this is a one axis. Uh, a single axis sensor, sort of from left to right, or up or down, or diagonal, or whatever, you, what have you. The Trill Hex! This is one of the ones that has crisscrossing sensors to detect where exactly your finger is in two axes, and it's designed for tessellating interfaces. I can imagine some really cool modular designs with this one. The Trill Ring, again you have a series of zigzag overlapping sensors. And this one I think actually would work really nicely with a Circuit Playground Express perhaps, with its ring of 10 LEDs, maybe with one of these 24 NeoPixel rings from Adafruit. Stick some lights on there, have a nice little controller. And finally, the Trill Square, which we already looked at just a minute ago. Compared to the version we looked at before, these ones have a standardized I2C connector like the Seed Grove modules. All kinds of possibilities. Let's take a look at the websites. As you can see on this main page for all the Trill units, the square and hex can each detect one touch at a time, as well as the touch size, while the single axis ring and bar can detect up to five simultaneous touches, as well as the size for each. Trill ring can fit an arcade button in the middle. Learn more about all the Trill sensors from the documentation page linked below. Also, there are tons of other expansions and add-ons available for the Bella boards, including a multi-channel CTAG system, a multiplexer, so you can add up to 64 channels of analog input, although that one's not compatible with the Bella Mini I have, an audio expander, and even modular synth units. They also have some pretty cool examples using, for example, copper tape cut into various shapes to create your own sensors, and so there's a lot of flexibility with this. Even if you run out of the Trill sensors themselves, you could use the craft board with your own custom interfaces. I've been playing with this Mager tape, which is sort of like copper tape, 
but better because the adhesive itself is conductive so you can just lay it over uh, other pieces of tape and it'll conduct through. It makes it way easier to construct connections and things like that. Check out our recent videos at hackster.io slash videos for more on that. Thank you again, Robert, for sharing with us these delightful little sensors. I can't wait to put these into a project. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these, maybe with the Teensy, and we'll come up with some fun stuff and share it with you later. Hack on. Yeah.